世界。Shit, yeah, thanks for checking back into the channel again, guys. Appreciate the support as always. Um, before I start, I just wanted to say sorry for the last few videos. They've been a bit ordinary, so I'm definitely going to get back to uh, trying to make them as good as I possibly can. I think I've been a bit excited having the HK out recently and people talking to me and whatnot, which has been rad, but then I just haven't really been... Uh, I've been more excited with that than the videos, so I will get back to making them better for you guys starting today. So I'm at uh, Murray Bridge Cars and Coffee. Not a bad turnout considering the drags, huge drags, meets on at Tail and Bend this morning, so probably a few cars there, but anyway, let's go for a wander. Got the uh, both cars out today, the wagon and the HK. Don't get that often because obviously the wife's not always home, so with work, so it's been rad that we could both come down in them today. Just sweet. Nice Mustang. I'm not sure what kit this is. I've seen this around a bit. It's pretty rad. How's that even that tailgate number plate set up there? Not that the number plate is in there, but it's like an aero or something maybe. I'm not sure. Club Sport? I don't think it's Club Sport. Oh, maybe it is. I don't know. Pretty cool. A few Tuffies rolling over there. A few uh, HJs by the looks of it, or HXs. Got one tonner here. Pretty cool. A bit old B&M shifter. So right, WB, possibly, yeah. not bad. I'll wander around, come, come through this way. Okay. Go VE, VF, SS. This Mercedes, which is a regular. Pretty cool old car too. Don't know what the weather's gonna do. It looks like it could be ordinary, but I don't know if it will be, but we'll make do with what we can. These XR8s are getting popular again now too. That's a very nice, clean one, that's for sure. Hell yeah. The old red Corvette. <laughs> Boom. Oh, here's Tim rolling his rig. Shit yeah. That's a uh, shout out to Tim. He let me try those wheels on our HK the other day just to get an idea of the offset and stuff that we're gonna need. So the priority parking area today, which if you guys have watched my videos before, this grass area on the corner is a priority parking area and they do a different theme each time. So this month is like big boots and big bonnets. So I guess like big American cars and things like that, something a bit bigger and whatnot. So go and have a look. This big Regal's pretty rad. VJ Hardtop. What have we got coming in behind me? Oh, VSSS. Pretty cool. 360. A couple of Mercedes lined up here. I suppose they do have a big bonnet. Got to do fit all that in. Another one here. Well, I don't know what that is, but. So I didn't know if it was like a V10 or something. Pretty cool. Another one here. What's this here? Pretty cool. How's this thing? This is sick. How's all that detail? crazy even like the um, spare tire holder carrier whatever you want to call it it's pretty rad eh big old convertible Cadillac really good interior awesome car even had the old uh, ashtrays and stuff in the back imagine that these days kids wouldn't even know what it is cool front end I don't know what this old rig is, but some sort of old Ford, I suppose. Pretty cool. What have we got? Another hatch rolling in here. 
cammed SS going in over there, another Tory coming in here. How are you, mate? That's yeah, a nice car, I've seen that around a bit actually. Uh, right, well, I'm back here, I'll have a look. So, we've got a Fairlane that's just pulled in here, Fairlane 500. Big old Cadillac here as well, different model to that other one, but have a look at how big that boot is. It's crazy. Have a sleep in there, no worries. Oh, look at this rig. Three hundred eight GDS Ferrari. Just your usual cars and coffee rig. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. So old Bel Air looks pretty sweet. It's pretty rad. Oh, look at this hearse here. Every time I see this, I think it's a Plymouth because I remember we had a Plymouth that we put in the demolition derby years ago and it had these same fins on the back. I'm pretty sure it is, but I haven't asked anyone. Pretty cool interior. All right, DeSoto, there you go, wrong. I wonder if that's even similar. Huge Buick, such a cool car too. See that around quite a bit, which is awesome. Really gets driven a lot, all over the place. Adelaide, everything, so that's awesome. Cruise back down through here, so that's pretty much, at least for now anyway, that's the priority parking area covered. Only got, uh, not much over on the overflow yet, but it's only early, so. There's a lot going on too, though. There's a big GM day at Gawler today too, which would draw a lot of Chevs and Holdens there, no doubt. Valiant Ute, Lancer, Cortina. That's pretty cool. Dodge, Dodge Chrysler as well. That's pretty sweet. All right, went down that side, so now I'll just zoom around back over this way. Same with this Foose Mustang. Pretty awesome car. PT Cruiser. Little, like newer Ford Capri. VX. Have a look at this thing though. This is crazy. Saw this roll in. Super nice. Awesome car, like XB Coupe or something like that, XA. How are you? Hell yeah, that's awesome. Big convos, HR. Eddie's two-door EH, he was just telling me he polished her all up yesterday, ready for today too, so look inside the HR. She's just like a full-on cruiser, that's cool. Deadly driver, sort of survivor type thing. Eddie's EH obviously always presents well. Now driven not hidden sticker. Another XB or something pulling up here. EJ, see this EJ around a fair bit too, so it gets out and about a lot, which is cool. Got the old gauge set up up in the top there. Don't know if you can see it or not, but. Twin carb grey motor set up. Be awesome. Sort of little mini. Don't know much about that, but see this LC around quite a lot as well. XD or XE or something. Cool. Well, this is that Jensen I've seen over at Manum a few times. I didn't know much about them, but I've been told that they are a pretty rare car, so custom ignition setup going on there. It's pretty rad. How's the interior though? 
That console goes all the way through, I don't know if you can see it, it goes all the way through to the back, so it's actually just a four-seater. I didn't know that last time I looked at it. All the gauges and vents and stuff, switches. It's crazy across there, eh? There's a few more starting to roll in now, a bit later than normal, but that's all right. A bit later than never. I've got that whole middle section to do, of course, but there's still more coming around, starting to park on the grass back there. And more over in that area where we parked, where there wasn't a whole lot before, which there is now, so that's cool. This Mustang is always clean as anything. How's that gauge set up? That's rad too. I don't know if you can see it or not. Pretty cool. How are you? We've got another XY or something rolling over here. XW, XY. Pretty nice car. Go look at that after as well. Got a Mustang here. Pretty cool. All oh, right, that's clean as anything. We'll go check that out. All right, well, that sort of covers what's back here at the moment until uh, some more roll in. So I'll have to come back through. So you get your coffees over here, bacon and eggs over there. Hopefully, don't wait, I don't see where she is, but hopefully my wife's around with a coffee for me somewhere. That'd be pretty rad. She might be over at the car. Let's go for a look. MG. Oh, sorry, mate. That's cool. Twin carb setup. Wonder if that's standard or like an aftermarket option, like sort of everything else. You know, like, oh, it's K&N filters and stuff, so. That's pretty cool, eh? Sweet old Jag here. Like a pretty early one, don't know what year, but. That's awesome. EH. Yep, EH special. That's cool. I had so many different variants back then. You didn't just have a Prem or, um, the standard sort of model. Had a special as well and a couple others I think too. It's pretty cool. This thing's clean as. Can't really get around it so I'll just go across the front but super nice. HZ, that's pretty cool too. Kingswood, SL, yeah. VN or VP, not sure. VN I think. I got Jim's ute wrong last time. I can't remember where I called it a VR and it was a VS or vice versa, but I'll get it wrong again because I can't remember, but that's all right. That's all right. Still sick though. Five litre ute. Whole life, like it was boy in Murray Bridge at Dutton's from new, if I remember rightly. This thing's cool too. It's like a deep purple with the black, black GDS stripes. So you sort of can't see them, but you can. It's pretty sweet. Carries over into the interior a bit too. B&M shifter, same as ours. How's this um, A9X over here? This is cool, sort of tucked away. That's awesome. And it's got like the orange piping and stuff on the seats to match the outside, so that's a cool setup. Four speed too, awesome. That's this. That's nice. Fairmont. Hm. Manual. That's an awesome colour too. I'll come back over here in a minute. I'm just going to go get a coffee and we'll have a look through that row. Should you? I had to come and check this Porsche out over here. This thing's insane. GT4 RS, carbon fiber bonnet. That's crazy. Carbon fiber mirrors. Oh, all this as well. That's sick. Damn, that's a cool car. How cool are those bonnet, or oh, guard vents? That's an awesome car. And then you've got a Ferrari here, which is also a rad car. You've got the big Fairlane. 351. 
They just had rad interior back then. Shit, yeah, has that dash. That's crazy cool. <laughs> Shit, yeah. It's pretty rad. See this here every time, usually. It's pretty cool. Gemini. I don't know if I've seen this one around, though. This one's pretty clean, eh? That's that one that just came in before when I was going over near the coffee van. Beamer. That's a cool intake setup. Yeah, that's awesome. How clean is that interior? Oh yeah, it's got a rip shifter in there and shit. Pretty rad. That's a nice car. The windows are both up, that sucks. A four speed car as well. And the old B45s. Um, I think there was a couple there, that would be SSS. That ute there, a couple of utes there that pulled in. Oh, and um, Tim's car over here as well. Pretty awesome. And then, yeah, here's Tim's. It's got a nice built 308 in it. These are the wheels I tried on the uh, HK because it's HQ stud pattern. So, yeah, I saw this. Um, I saw this in Adelaide last week, or wherever it was actually, two weeks ago, Marion. Yeah, that's cool. Another XY or something. GT pulling in over there. Yeah, that's cool, I did see this. I saw that at, uh, in my Marion Cars and Coffee video, because I remember that coating, you can't forget that, that's just awesome. Cool, like just different. Got a cool gauge setup. Same B&M shifter as ours. Go over and look at these panel vans. These things are awesome. I think maybe I've seen these around. Yeah, that's cool. Sort of way of doing that, that's really cool. Old school bubble windows. Same with that as well, it's rad. Windows are up unfortunately, but Looks, that's a manual as well. It's got an injected five liter in it. That's cool. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, now that's a cool setup. That's a big radiator. That's bigger than ours. I like that Raceworks tank too. And same with this one, this is what I want to do on the HK as well. I reckon. Shit, yeah, that's rad. That's awesome. Got little spotties back hidden behind in the grill, just the old school way we used to do it all. Another nice HR, looks like a Prem. WB Kingswood Ute. VE. This thing sounds pretty rowdy actually, like cammed and shit by the sounds of it. Sounds pretty cool, eh? Another cool Ford there. This one's awesome too, eh? XY, shaker scoop, all the cool stuff. Yeah, that's rad. See if I can sneak in and have a look. Yeah, really nice interior. And that's an awesome steering wheel, which I think is like the original one, but yeah. Just saying that they're cool. We've seen this around a few times, which is cool. I don't know if I've seen it with the window open or not. I think I have. It's cool. It is cool. 
Old motor guzzy. You don't see too many of them around these, these days. Either, either EJ might be actually leaving. Got an EK. An EK and a VK coming in over here. Oh, that might even be an FB, actually. Still pretty rad. Oh, there's a few more still that I haven't seen. Valiant and WRX that pulled in down there. I don't think this little uh, Austin was here when I came around before either, actually. Looks like a perfect little spot for that car. Yeah, it's starting to get to a uh, pretty nice turnout now, for sure. How are you, mate? This uh, FJ is pretty nice, eh? Full original. Clean as. Eddie, how are you? Good. Oh, that's that Statesman. I wonder if they reckon they are in the. That's this massa rep from down our way. Pretty sure. That might be a different. Actually, that's a different EJ. That one there coming past. I thought that was the one that was parked over there, leaving. But it's still there. And yeah, no, it is a different one. Yeah, that's awesome because I haven't seen that one. That's cool. Which way is he going? Oh, he's going that way. I want to go check that out. That's awesome. How are you guys? This little Morris is cool. Oh, these are the new, yeah, the new jet plates, which we can get here now. This is, I apologize, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's got a, there was that red HJ, HQ wagon, GDS, that I see around a bit. This is another one of his cars as well. This VK is pretty cool. Awesome. Simmons. The Stato is rad as hell. That's a cool car. I was talking to that bloke when I was doing my Club Rego stuff, actually. He's a top bloke and he's got heaps of cool cars by the sounds of it. How's this? This is rad as hell. Yeah, that's an awesome car. A fair lane here. It's like the XA or something, fair lane in it, but they probably had a different model to represent that fair lane model, but still cool. All right, now I haven't been through this middle section, and if anything else has rolled in around the place, which it probably has, so I'll buzz around again. But so what have we got? Like a VZ SS for sale. A little MG. Oh, that's cool with the two tone. SSU there. Like a BF XR8. And then, yeah, the uh, FJ, sorry. Go back over to this Tirana and then come back down that row. And that'll get most things covered off. How are you? Which car you got down here today? Uh, I got yeah, uh, this Mustang here, there's still some more coming in, eh? Which is cool. There's heaps of people down in now. Like, really good turnout, which is rad as hell. Mustang here. This is a nice clean car. Can't see through the window, unfortunately, but super nice interior. Sorry, mate. No, uh, you're right, mate. What have we got here? It's like a Mazda. Yeah, I can't remember what they, what the model is, but yeah. Another Gemini here, which looks pretty sweet. That's cool, like, I think like re-trim dash and stuff. Kingsley's, uh, this thing's rad as hell. I've done a video on this once before down here as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome car. Yeah, this has another fair lane buzzing in over there that wasn't here before. A few driving out as well. Some people might be leaving to go off to the drags, don't know, but anyway, yeah, this thing's awesome. Nice interior. I see this thing down here a bit, actually. This is super cool. I really like this model Ford. A 
I think I've mentioned before, I wouldn't mind getting one of these actually in rotary swapping it. Probably wouldn't be very popular, but I reckon it'd be rad as hell. Yeah, still got some more stuff coming down there. And then, yeah, I've pretty much done, I've done a full lap, but it's just a matter now of whether everything else is, more stuff has come in since I was there before or not. I'm sure it has. Actually, even down the back on the grass there, there's more. Or even this v, uh, VL wasn't here before. I think I've seen it before, but yeah. Yeah, there's heaps more down here now. This was only had two cars in here before. I didn't even hear that RX-7 come in. Oh, this is, um, oh, that's awesome. Cause I'm pretty sure there was posts about this car having been pinched in Murray Bridge recently. So hopefully that means, well, obviously it's here. So the owner's got it back then. So if that's the case, if that's the right one I'm thinking of, then that's absolutely great news that he's got it back. So, and looks to be all, all the good still. There's some lumpy shit getting around by the sounds of it, eh? Um, I think, oh, this one here. Yeah, this one here rolled up since I was down here before as well. I think the rest of that area is about the same, but this one here, yeah. And then there's that golf that's been around a few times coming in over the back there. Oldsmobile. That's an awesome car. He's fair lanes doing some laps looking for a park. That thing sounds nice. Now, this is a cool old car, isn't it? Yeah, awesome. Cool front end. Another VK coming in here. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, that's an old Oldsmobile grill looks rad. That's awesome. Um, let's go and have a look over this way. It's, it's like it was a late start this morning because normally they're all here early, but they're really starting to pile in now, which is cool. Oh, this wasn't. Um, here when I was over here before either. <laughs> this is a, uh, this got a injected LS, I think, uh, not an injected five liter, I think. Nice old car. Yeah, I have seen that down here before actually. No, it is an LS, yeah. I don't know why I said injected, but yeah, that's got an LS in it. Um, a few over in the overflow, but they look like more sort of just your cruisers or people rolling up for a look, but not necessarily on show. That's a cool looking uh, BF by the looks of it, if you've seen that or not. Oh, I know these ones rolling in though. I didn't even know they were coming over today, actually. Oh, there's a few over there, yeah. Sort of over towards the back. So yeah. a few laps but he obviously hasn't found where he wanted to park yet. Um, yeah that was that uh, WRX that came through before. How are you mate? Good. Got the golf. Something's awesome. Sneak through here. Heaps of cool stuff here. I'm getting distracted again because there's heaps of cool stuff and heaps of people coming and chatting, which is rad. So, but yeah, I think I've got most stuff already, but I'll have a bit more of a look around. Sorry, mate. Nice rig. Got the exhaust all sussed. Mm, yes. Just simple fix in the end. They blew a circuit. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. They seem like it would surely have to be. How is the brakes on this? These are just had. They've just had these put on. I don't know if it'll show you, but like they are massive. That's ridiculous. Front and rear. 
That's crazy. Like I think if you actually look at the, um, where is it? They had to have the uh, valve there modified because that was actually gonna hit on the calipers. The brakes are so big. That's crazy. Recaro, full custom Recaro interior. Sick gauge setup. That's rad as hell. G'day Joe. Uh, how are you, man? Good. This is super awesome. This just came in. Then you've got this rolls here as well that wasn't here before either. That's cool. This is pretty rad too. This is just coming in now. This is awesome, big old Jeep, old school. It's a cool old car, eh? I don't think I got to look at this VK. I did see it coming in though. Quickly okay. squeeze over, look at that. A few have driven off already, of course, as well. Nice VK. Some stuff making noise over that way. Go over and have a look. This is the our local Smasser Club reps car. It's awesome. Center lines. That's cool. Oh, I don't know if that's. This might be Pete's car. Or, oh, I don't know. This one wasn't here before either. Four door GDS 350 Chev. That's an awesome car. I don't know if this one, yeah, there's a few more here now. Jeez. Maybe I got sidetracked and didn't finish this row. <laughs> you guys will know. Check out the engine on that. <laughs> it's cool. HX maybe? EH. EHU. Cool buckets and cool interior. Nice charger. It's a super nice color combo. Cool car. That's cool. Nice looking car. Another one of these little Capris. Hmm. That's cool. I think everything else there is the same at the moment, which is cool. Um, everything on that row is the same, apart from that BF XR8 Ute. Everything down here is the same. Got this VN. Some VN wagon come in. Just full original well looks of it, which is rad. Pretty cool. Everything over there is the same. Maybe I'll have to go and have a look. Yeah, there's a couple more over here that weren't here before as well, actually. This statesman over here just pulled in. This wasn't here when, oh shit, watch out, kicking rocks. This wasn't here before when I came past either. That's cool, 308. That's a nice car. And with this deal. Or wood dash. Big flat top six cylinder engine of some sort. Pretty cool. DeSoto Roadster. <laughs> For sale. A cool old car. A few more different sort of random ones coming in and going out. That's cool. Turbo XR6. Um, Steve's 57. This thing's awesome. remember it being that low before. I wonder if he's lowered it more or not. Maybe it was, I don't know. Cool as hell. That's an awesome car, it's so clean. 
uh, not heaps over here, just sort of like, um, yeah, normal cruisers, I reckon. This one over here, though, might be, um, I haven't seen him around. Looks like it might be Ned's, Ned's, young Ned's wagon. <clears throat> VR or VS, I can't remember. Someone will have to point out the difference, I always forget. And even if you do, I'll probably forget again anyway, but yeah, got the Calais International wheels. Cool little cruiser, something to get him out into the car scene. Got a Mustang over here. Not heaps over here, of course, but actually packed out. There's not, not a spare car park over there apart from if anyone's driven off, but yeah, super cool turnout this morning. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, do make sure you give it a like. It sort of helps the channel heaps, so appreciate that. Let's have a look. I think some more have pulled in over here. Two fair lanes. But yeah, this thing here wasn't here before, and this is awesome. F100. An old F100. Don't know what year. Looks sweet though. Yeah, that's cool. Big steel wheels. So yeah, that's probably what the rest of this video will be. It will mostly be some drive-offs and stuff. So, because I've pretty much walked around and seen everything. I don't anticipate too many more rocking up now. It's getting pretty much towards the end. So I'll just catch a few drive-offs. Yeah, she's packed out today. Of course, sometimes when we get a lot over on the overflow, there's still empty parks there out throughout here, but not too many empty parks throughout here today, so. Cool old fair lane. Leaving. Oh yeah, this is nice too. Super clean, cool car. I reckon I've seen that in Mount Barker as well, actually. At a car show and whatnot. Jim's getting ready to leave in his ute by the looks of it. Nice old four-door GDS. It's a pretty cool car. VK leaving. It's got a really nice, clean VK. It's an awesome car. How are you, mate? Have a good day. That XB is tough as. The new, the new project one? Yeah, the Nice. That's a cool old car, eh? That's awesome. Sit there. I didn't, I missed that one. I was gonna go walk around and have a look at it. I didn't see it. Nice old HR. That's cute. Prem. Oh, I didn't even realise that was the SA Motorsport coating Ute with that. That makes sense, but yeah. Shout out to the, those guys. They obviously do yeah. cool stuff because that coating on the engine on that thing's awesome. So, shit, chair. WRX leaving here. Pretty rad. Cool little car. This thing's awesome. This thing's sick, eh? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yep. Sick. It's, uh, it's not loud enough. Yeah. <laughs> The view was rad. <laughs> I think they're they, but when you don't want them, they're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I think 
Our fair lane's rad. Have a good day, Pete. Yeah. Starting to empty out a little bit now, but yeah, overall it's been a really good turnout. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. And if you have, go ahead and give it a like for us if you wouldn't mind. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Leave a comment, tell me what your favorite car was or if you like the event and whatnot, ever else. So yeah, as always, thanks for watching and living in Big Mouth's world. Shit, yeah.